<laughs> Little flower from Houston, Texas. In the great state of Washington. Um, some beautiful place. So, I, you know, I'm branching out. And uh, off my beaten path, I decided to put in Waterfront Park. And then so uh, made my way over to this lovely place. It is just so amazing. Let's take a look outside. Let me see this make sure I'm all right. But yeah, see, it's so pretty out. Oh. oh my god. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. many wonderful beautiful amenities of um various locales and uh my buddy i had uh, told me and my other buddy about this other place that was uh granite falls and it was so beautiful um talk about just this majesty right at your fingertips and your doorway but like my pod <laughs> this is my very very private pod and these are my posses <laughs> so over here that's that's bun bun <laughs> hi bun 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 <laughs> and over here this is talaban <laughs> say hi talaban talaban <laughs> for you know dali me banana day oh day oh did i come man I want to go home. Hey, flying monkeys. Y'all disrupted my life. Now, now what can I call home? <laughs> Everywhere I am. I tell you what. Of all the people to get stuck with, I get to get stuck with me. <laughs> and I have a lot of fun. Don't we, posse? <laughs> bun bun. Bun Bun's a hard one, you know, but uh, she keeps us in line too. He. Bun Bun. And then over here, this is, you know, Taliban. But yeah, we have a good time. And uh, earlier today, I just like to sit and observe the capuchins. <sighs> but uh, I uh, just thought I'd do something different. And I really, really like my pod. But yeah. It's a beautiful, rainy, drizzly day. And um, I'm just enjoying the weather. You know, I'm like, ever since I left Houston to get away from all of the inherent gang stalking and such, I've had an amazing, amazing experience and encounter. Um, the thing is, is that um, we all inherently search for in my opinion you know whatever you decide god is whatever you decide deity is whatever you decide source universe you know whatever your subscription is to um does it really matter we all just reach out you know reach out reach inward and uh, it's the faith it is the driving force and what drives me may not necessarily be the same force that drives you but uh i would be willing to think that as long as we're you know pitching for the same team and there's really two teams if you really boil it down to its uh most uh fundamental basic and that would be hold on Oh, yeah. The light or the dark. Eh. <laughs> Either or. <laughs> Either or. And if you are complacent and don't pick a side, oh, life will have its way of shoving you into one or the other. And uh, hopefully it's for the light. 
seriously because woof, 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 it's you want all your efforts to be well placed you know either way you're gonna get torn down i'm gonna tell you that right now let me just solve the guesswork for you it will rip you a new asshole but i can promise you that um if you just know it's coming then you can more or less prepare for it accept it and uh, just jump in with both feet and just know that by the time you're done, you'll walk away with uh, chiseled armor and how to uh, navigate and dodge and weave these uh, day-to-day psychopaths and stuff. Because it's a uh, heartless, ruthless world and they bait uh, people in situations through, you know, street theater, um, gang stalking and the such. And uh, you got to be quick on your toes and know how to, uh, you know, roll shampoo with it. You know, with this uh, cray-cray mental mosh pit people have going on out here. But first of all, you got to know that there would be cray-cray shit going on out there. And uh, what to look for, how to define it, and how to categorize it, and how to, you know, um, wrap your brain around it and be able to articulate it to convey because uh they're using you know covert psychological warfare kind of shit you know dr mengele <laughs> legit auschwitz kind of you know psychological warfare shit yeah it's jacked up you know and uh it's for reals and you know I mean, you think about it, we had Jack the Ripper once upon a time ago, and that was pretty well cutting edge. Woo! You talk about pre-K, that was just a warm-up. Because <laughs> now we're in the big leagues, y'all. It's like, yeah, the Wild West and stuff. Mm. But you just got to make sure that you're pitching for the right team. As long as you can do that, you can, you'll be okay, right? So... Detach from anything that's related to promoting guilty with no chance of proven innocent. That's, uh, that's the, uh, Nazi camp. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to break bread with those psychopaths because that's legit blood on your hands. That makes you a bona fide murderer. And, uh, then now you're going to have to work off that murdering stain and, um, you're talking about your eternal damnation of your soul. And God forbid you indoctrinate your children into that because you're leaving generational curses upon them. But anyways, I'm just very driven to uh, speak out about that. Anyhow, yeah. So my saga continues. Oh, it's a beautiful day out here. Little flower from Houston, Texas, in Washington, in my space pod <laughs> with my squad, Taliban, <laughs> and Bun Bun. This is Bun Bun. Alrighty, peace.